Everyone needs a hero. I have two. My Poppy and Cristiano Ronaldo. When Poppy died, he left me a ball and the inspiration to follow my dreams. We didn't grow up with much, but I always had love and a place to play. I was scared to leave home, but sometimes in life, you have to take a chance. I got my ticket, hugged my nanny goodbye, and took a bus to LA. A friend of my poppy's picked me up from the station. I always heard about Los Angeles being a strange place, but I had no idea. He told me my tryout was in a week and that we needed to start training right away. They tested my strength and speed. I heard the coach say, he's not strong enough. I got ready for my first tryout. I thought I'd do well, but I thought wrong. I was trying my best, but none of my moves seemed to work. The other players were good and strong and mean. I heard the coach say, he's got no shot with us. So I decided to leave, but I got cut. The man talked to me about not giving up and following my dream. He told me that the strength and power of my family lives inside me and that I am more than me. So I decided to stay because the only way to fail is to give up. Feel you. The moment you were born, I knew you were special. In your eyes, I saw strength, I saw courage, I saw a dream. In you, I saw myself. 
on your journey, there will be times when you think your body can't take much more. You will feel like quitting, like giving up. You hear voices telling you that you're not good enough, that you don't belong. There will be haters, but they will soon realize that in your eyes lies greatness. There will be lonely times, but know that I am up above watching your every move. And when you are down, I will be reaching through the clouds to lift you up. Never forget where you came from. Never forget those who have believed in you and who have helped you break through walls you never thought possible to break through. Feel you. Your mind is your most powerful friend. When you feel pain, embrace it. It reminds you that you are alive. Football lives and breathes inside you, just like it did with me. You will inspire those along your way. No one is here forever. And even though I'm gone, I live within you. Remember, the best never give up. Everyone has something magical inside of them. Go now and let the world know how special you are. I love you. Papa. Just woke up, it's the middle of the night Sirens in the distance Things change fast, the present is past A gift but no persistence mm -hmm. Gave up in the middle of a fight Cause you couldn't go the distance Head's not right, can't ignite And you question your existence
Zag? Yep, Zag. As in Dinamo Zagreb. Come over here. Let me show you something. I'm playing the Champions League. Yeah, he's produced some of the best players in the world. Franchar. Lovren. Milner sends over the cross! Oh, it's Lovren! Lovren! Modric. Real Madrid? Yep. Luka Modric! They've invited you to come train. It's a big opportunity. Plus, there's some people there I want you to meet. Poppy's best friend and his grandson, who plays for Dinamo. They know what it's like to lose somebody we love. I used to be afraid to hold my hand We used to dance on graves We used to curse the damned Now I've lost my way Alone. I taste you in every tear. Can't find my way back home. Now I've lost my way.
Poppy. Poppy. I miss you. Been here before? No, it's beautiful. It's cold though. Yeah. So, do you miss Poppy? Yeah. A lot. Is it weird being back here? Yeah, I mean, it's been a while. Have you talked to my grandma at all since I've been gone? She's written me a little bit. Yeah, I have a couple letters, but that's pretty much it. I know, shit's been hard since Poppy's been gone. Yeah, I mean, she doesn't really have anybody, like, I mean, not many people around. You think she'll be all right? Yeah, I mean, she's she's tough, but I mean, it's been, it's been difficult for her, I know that. What is that? This is Poppy when he was a young man. So we've been out on the road for a couple days. Do you want to kick a ball around or something? Yeah. Uh, do you still have Poppy's ball? Yeah. Do you need to know where it is? Where is it? Hey, good morning. Morning. How are you? Good. Have some tea or? Sure. You know where he is? I think he's still sleeping. Okay. I'll go check and see how he's doing. Hey. Hey, what's what's that? I don't know. Nani, do you know what this is?
Can you tell me what happened to Poppy? Your Poppy had a million different ideas and inventions, but he could never finish anything. He was working on that mat when he died. I was curious to know why Poppy invented the map. I didn't know what those symbols and shapes were for, or how to use it. I think that Matt killed him. gotten a lot better. Yep. The next day we went to a gallery to meet a friend of my agent. The gallery owner said he knew a guy that could give some answers. I'm pretty sure, you know, I know someone who knows exactly what it is. Okay, let me give him a call if you don't mind. He was a former professional player for Real Madrid who knew Poppy. I know what this is. The trainer agreed to show us how the mat worked. He said that the mat was incredibly powerful. Poppy was obsessed with helping young players get better faster. Each shape, symbol, and number had a specific purpose. The trainer said that it wasn't just a mat, but a whole soccer development program designed to connect the brain and feet. There was even fun games you can play, like football tennis, which works on agility, balance, and first touch, controlling and playing balls out of the air. The trainer explained to me that Poppy's invention could change soccer development forever. The best players in the world are able to play with their head up. They think faster than others and they have more technical skill. Poppy's dream was that every young player would use this map. Estrella un tres, star one three. I started having these reoccurring dreams that Poppy was there watching me. It was as if I could feel him there. The smell of his pipe floating through the air. But when I turned around, he was gone. My agent told me that the trainer set something special up for me, so that I could test out my new skills. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome 
to Saturday morning street soccer. Today's match, it's a battle between the ever-experienced and undefeated street rebels and the, dare I say, new kids on the block. It's young Ronaldo FC. Underway, game on here in this street soccer extravaganza. The youth looking on as their street soccer heroes are really putting on a show for them today. Oh, and young Ronaldo FC, they take an early lead. Oh, but look out here, and the street rebels have equalized. It's 1-1. What a goal for young Ronaldo. Oh, it's a magical rainbow. Do you guys like? Yeah. Alright, you us? It looks as if young Ronaldo FC is giving the youngsters a chance to jump into the match. And just look at these young techers go. Incredible skill by these young ballers. Oh, and what on earth is happening here? It looks as if two rather influential and mighty dapper gentlemen have arrived to just check out the game. Oh, what an effort with the acrobatic donkey flick street soccer at its finest, but it's just a bit high. No goal. Oh, and something interesting's happening here. Well, here you go. The score's level at two. One goal wins it all. Who wants it? Who's going to take it? Who's going to be that player? This is the moment. It's moments like this that put it all to the test. He's just stopped on the ball. He seems to be harnessing some sort of inner power. What on earth is going on here? Oh, brilliant skill there. It's moments like this that put it all to the test. All that training, all that hard work, all the hopes and dreams. Can it come to fruition? Young Ronaldo FC, they've beaten the Street Rebels. It's a grand upset. It's street soccer beauty. Young Ronaldo FC with the 3-2 victory here on Saturday morning street soccer. Congratulations, young men.